Hi guys, welcome to another video. I am so excited. I have two luxury bag unboxings today. <laughs> this is following on from my New York shopping trip. Now, these are not the only unboxings. I've already unboxed two. Go have a look at that one. And there is more to come. There is more. <laughs> so there will be more videos after this one, but let's get on with it. Let's get going. Hang fire guys for later. I'm going to unbox an absolute gem that I've just found, an absolute gem. So I have already shared two luxury bag unboxings and they are just beautiful. One was from Fashion File and the other one was from What Goes Around Comes Around. Both amazing purchases, amazing. Today I have two more and these are another two from Fashion File. <laughs> Yes, yes, I bought three bags in Fashion File. <laughs> I bought three bags in Fashion File, but I just was in the moment and I just could not say no to them. So, which did I buy? Let's start with this one. So let's start with this one. This one will probably, will this be a surprise? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. A few of you guessed this one. It comes in this dust bag. So none of these come with a box. I didn't want a box, it's absolutely fine. So it is Louis Vuitton. Obviously I'm Louis Vuitton mad at the moment. So what is this? Can you tell from the shape? <laughs> Let's get into it, look. This is, I finally, finally got my hands on this. This is the Alma BB. Oh, I'm just in love with it. This is in the um, Verney leather and it is in Amarant. I think it's Amarant. Oh, it's still got the Fashion File um, authenticity certificate on it because I haven't used this yet. Just let's let's just have a close up, guys, of this. I don't know. The lights are not picking this up. It just is reflecting quite badly. I think it is so stunning. It is like a, one of my subbies said. It's like a black cherry, and that's exactly what it is. It is so beautiful. It feels really durable, and I know you need to be careful with patent leather, and it can get cloudy and everything else. But and it also is quite fingerprinty. But I don't care. I just think the BB size is fabulous. So it's got the top handles and they go down. <laughs> they go down, which <laughs> makes me very happy. And then you can see the side, you can see the, um, that is the strap sticking out. We'll come back to that. <laughs> you can see the zipper goes right down to the bottom. And there isn't really a front or a back to these. Uh, they are the same. And then it's got the lock and then the other side and then the base so oh you can see all the fingerprints <laughs> look at the fingerprints oh dear let's give it a little bit of a polish <laughs> so i think you still see the, the fingerprints but anyway i need to give it a proper polish it is beautiful let's have a look at the inside so because the zipper does go down it does open reasonably reasonably well and it comes with the original receipt and it comes with um the shoulder strap and the inside it has one slip pocket it says Louis Vuitton made in France and that is pretty much it that is pretty much it but the size of this is fabulous it's a lovely top handle bag it's very elegant isn't it it's beautifully elegant and I just love the colour it just goes with so many things in my wardrobe so I love it and then it comes with the shoulder strap now I did say in my previous vlog that this is not adjustable it's obviously detachable it's not adjustable and that is just so annoying <laughs> it's so annoying so why Louis Vuitton do that I have no idea I know aesthetically it looks smoother and and sleeker like this but just make it adjustable anyway this goes on to the d-rings so I'm, I'm, I'm sure you all know what an armor looks like but on the d-rings on each um, diagonal corner you can see it doesn't have one here it has a little d-ring here and a d-ring here so that is where you clip on your strap so let's just do that and I did try this on crossbody when I was in fashion file and this is actually a really good length for me <laughs> crossbody it's a really good length but you can it does make the handles stick up slightly just slightly because it is on the d-rings but 
it's absolutely fine and the shape of the Alma because it is a triangular shape I think it does it does fit it does fit a little bit clunky shall we say when you wear cross body but I don't mind that this for me is going to be a top handle bag but I do want the option in case you need to be hands free I just really like this so yeah that is my first first one of this video to show you what do we think guys I don't know if the fingerprints are just looking horrendous I think it will be very difficult to keep perfect but hey ho I absolutely love it so I've got my purse to match and I just wanted to mention as well this video is not sponsored by um, Legit Grails but I have worked with them and I've worked with them on a different video, which you will have seen already by now. And obviously Fashion File have their own um, in-house authentication service. But I always want to get just that little bit of third party peace of mind. So I did, <laughs> I did put this through um, Legit Grails, uh, their online service. And I did this one, I think I did this one in 30 minutes and yeah. I'm very, very happy to say it came back authentic and I sort of knew it would be. I don't think this is one that's easily copied by replica companies. It's probably too much hard work to get it exact with the patent leather, with the colour, the colour of this. I think it's not one that you're going to be super, super worried about, like some of the speedies and some of the monogram pieces and Dami Bean, etc. But I want a peace of mind. And I got it. So thank you again to Legit Grails because, yeah, just a little bit of peace of mind. I will put description, all the things in the description box if you want to use Legit Grails because I do have discount codes and things like that. So anyway, that is my first piece from Fashion File. Okay, what was the second, <laughs> the second piece? Oh, if you like the third piece from Fashion File because I got the Graffiti Speedy from Fashion File. So I got the Alma BB from Fashion File and I did get another bag. What did I go for? If you saw my vlog, you will see that I looked at so many different things and I was so tempted by quite a few of them. So what did I end up going for? One of you got it absolutely spot on and you were very, very detective-like and sneaky because you you saw that this piece had been sold on the Fashion File website. <laughs> so that meant that you, you assumed that I bought it. So were you correct? So it is actually from Louis Vuitton. It is Louis Vuitton. And I will talk about the other pieces in a second, but I bought this. This is absolutely, honestly, this was one of my absolute favourite, favourite finds of all time. Of all time. I love this so much. So let me introduce to you. This is the Petite Mal, but it is in the supple version and it is called Infra Rouge. So it was um, a limited collection from, I can't remember how long ago, I'll find out the details of it from a little while ago. And it is obviously in the beautiful black with the red. Now there was a range, I believe this might have been in the men's collection. I think it probably was. And there was quite a few different pieces. I think there was a Pachette Matisse, there were other things as well. I missed this at the time. I remember the collection. I don't remember this exact bag, but honestly, it's fabulous. Now I said, <laughs> If I'd have done a whole video on this, that I don't like the S-Lock and I've sold two bags that had the S-Lock. I, uh, S -lock. I have sold the Pochette Matisse and also the Pochette Matisse East West and that was the monoglam version and I just couldn't get to grips with the S-Lock and there was other things wrong with, with those bags. It wasn't just the S-Lock. They, they just didn't work for me. That satchel style just didn't work for me for whatever reason. But I did say, I don't like the S-Lock. I don't like how it scratches so much and it's really fiddly. So why have I bought another bag with an S-Lock? Well, because I'm mad really, aren't I? No, I think it's because this, it's just, it's like the um, Petite Mal in which it's more of a decorative piece. You, you can actually leave it open and it, it does have a zipper at the top. So it does have, um, it is zippable. So you can just leave that. You don't actually have to close it up. But what I will say is this one has silver hardware. Now that's what makes me think it was in the men's collection because the men's tend to be silver. And if you can have a look at this, this is quite, it, the bag is quite worn. It is quite worn. 
but I don't mind that because I wanted this to be a very casual everyday rainy day bag but still look amazing so it is it has you know it you can tell it's been used you can tell it's been used but if you look at the actual s lock it doesn't really it, it needs a bit of a polish but it doesn't really show a lot of signs of scratching not like the gold does so whether silver is just better for the s lock or whether because it's gold and it's more like a brass with a gold overlay maybe it wears worse I don't know but there's something about this that I decided to forgive <laughs> forgive the fact it had an s log and go for it and this is just fabulous and I did use this I did use this one day when I was in New York because it was a day that we we're out and about all day and it had forecast rain and I just thought actually I'm going to put this to the test and the reason I wanted this as I say was because it does show some wear already I'm not going to be too precious with it Oh, anyway let me give you a tour of it so there's the front and then the side obviously it's got d-rings and then the back it's just beautiful it's just just beautiful I just think it's really cool and edgy and it's gonna go with so many things and inside it has the shoulder strap which I'll come on to and then inside it's like a khaki fabric and it says what's it say Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and the khaki there again this what this makes me think it was in the men's collection now you can just tuck this into here if you particularly wanted to and get it out of the way and you can still get into your bag obviously you can't zip it fully but i'm not too worried about that it's never bothered me on the petite mal it's always been on the pochette matisse that it's bothered me so i think it's just that satchel style anyway i'm justifying it to myself can you can you tell um shoulder strap it is a very thin very comfortable very easy um adjustable shoulder strap with the obviously the silver hardware so this just goes onto the d-rings it is a perfect perfect crossbody obviously it's adjustable i've got mine in fact i've put mine i've got mine on the second to last I've got mine on the second to last and that is pretty long on me so that is just wonderful and actual what you can fit in this is very very deceiving so much more than the petite mal so much more let me just grab my petite mal hang on I'm back I'm back now I do want to just show you these I will do a separate video actually comparing these if anybody's interested because they are massively different price points and they are massively different types of bags even though they look very similar so and I know these are not in production at the moment but I just thought that it might be worth just showing you a little bit of a comparison so there we have them they do look very similar don't they obviously you can tell this one's a lot more supple and this is obviously hard sided you can see the size of these so you can see this will it is going to hold a little bit more but the difference really is in the petite mal obviously this opens up and it opens up like this and because it's it's so hard sided the opening to it you know you're not going to fit masses in there you've got you're going to fit your phone maybe your keys maybe a lipstick a very thin uh, card wallet that is your lot this i fit in so much so as i say i will do a separate video on this i'll show you my first impressions what fits in it things like that but i got pouches of things in here like a little carry-all oh all sorts of things i think i even got my umbrella in here yes i did i got my umbrella in here so and granted it's a very small umbrella but still it went in what can I say it's, it's absolutely fabulous and my worry about this was whether black and red would go with things in my wardrobe and that I I thought just with a black outfit it would look amazing but other than that it wouldn't but actually when I tried it on I had a black silk top on with jeans it looked amazing with jeans so I do think with a white a white t-shirt a white shirt jeans black trousers oh, I think even with grey it's going to look really nice I actually think I think it's great and also this goes with so many things and I never think oh this is brown and black and it's got a bit of red it won't go with anything you just make it work don't you you make it work so I am absolutely thrilled thrilled to get my hands on one of these I would highly recommend it I've used it 
little bit already so um, I can tell you that it's wonderful it's wonderful wonderful so that is my second unboxing of this video I'd love to know what you guys think and guys when I say there is more to come there is more to come yes there is I um, I bought something very very unexpected it was from direct from store it might come in an orange box <laughs> it might come in an orange box and it may be a colour it may be a colour that I said I don't like so find out what that is all about in hopefully my next video hopefully my next video so thank you guys for watching let me know what you think of these two absolute beauties see you on the next one